What's up guys? How you doing? Today, we are going to do a New Year's makeup look. I don't know if like New Year's Eve's into New Year's makeup look. I'm about to give you some secrets, y'all. Secrets that have never been revealed. Okay? Right now, I look a damn mess. <laughs> I look crazy. My wig coming up, look, look, it's just like flapping. So first things first, let's, let's get this wig down, shall we? Yeah, let's um do that. I already told y'all guys about this. So I'm gonna spray a little bit, blow dry it, and put a piece on my head. circulation to my head we'll take it off midway or even like almost like now but first things first you need to be able to have a few things on hand before you start anything and that is a newly washed beauty blender and I say newly washed because you need it to be a little damp you have to squeeze all the water out and it needs to be like soft like this like I know there's a lot of bitches out there there's a lot of women out there that use the blue beauty blender straight from the store just like it is but you're supposed to wet it and squeeze all the water out and it's supposed to feel very like soft. Yeah, if you didn't know, now you know, I mean, I feel like you should know, but I get it, you know? I didn't know a lot of things. And one thing that I feel like a lot of people don't know is milk of magnesia. My mom's calling me. You wanna get on? What's she doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm too happy, y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> But that's different. That's different. I'm different with my kids and I trust you with my children. You will give your life problems. Yeah, no, for sure. And I mean, you know, Armando apparently is a really good driver. He was worth If ever there was a situation where you guys needed to get away from someone that's chasing you, Armando got it, bro. I mean, there's helicopters. You have to get caught at some point if there's helicopters, bro. Desi, when are you gonna tell the story? Ooh, tell it on my YouTube channel. He crashed. He crashed. Got out of the car. Okay, but why did he started running? But why did he crash? So because he knew he can get away on foot because there was a lake there. He knew that he could get away on foot. And he wants to make um he wants to make prison on TikTok. Oh yeah, that's he's he does have an idea. I'm like, you're dumb. Nobody's gonna watch this. Oh, yeah. i watch it. I watched that sh- I watched that. Desi, he's smart. I watched that. Yo, would you guys watch someone like out of prison, right? Desi's gonna tell the story to y'all. Would you watch someone out of prison on TikTok, like how to make prison food? Yeah, it works. I would. That's interesting. I wanna know what y'all eat. Cause all I know is slop. Like, <laughs> I can literally talk to my freaking family, my sister and my mom for hours. It's insane. I can talk to them forever. But all right, so, <laughs> shit. Okay, wig is on. I am extremely bloated. Ugh. First things first, we use gel for our eyebrows. This is um, Moco de Goruma. You've seen it at CVS and Target, I'm sure. I have a big jar of it, but you know, this is just easier to deal with. So I just get a little bit of it. It's like super, super sticky. Get a little bit of it and I brush up and back. And still, yeah, my mother and my sister will continue to blow up my phone, which I love because I miss them so much. So there's that. I'm doing this New Year's look and I'm not even going anywhere or doing anything for New Year's. So there's that. All right, so eyebrows look like this. Then what we do is we get this elf poreless putty here. And while my eyebrows dry, we put this all over our face because this helps basically smooth out your skin for makeup application. I don't, I never really put primer on my face before, but as I got older, I needed to. So there's that. I ain't going nowhere for freaking New Year's. What am I doing the freaking New Year's look for? For y'all, for y'all, that's what I'm doing. And it's not gonna be nothing crazy. It ain't, it ain't gonna be nothing crazy. It's basically my type of 
New Year's look. Yeah. After that, now that our eyebrows are kind of dry, we get our concealer brush. You know it's a concealer brush because it's kind of like flat. Has like a round tip. We get our concealer and we line up the bottom of our brows and our lid. So we go like, ding, get a little bit and just go make sure it's all clean. And put it all over, I put it all over my lid because I have like darker lids. So I wanna make sure I can put shit on there. Once that is on our lid, and we're looking crazy, we get our nice little clean fluffy brush and we smooth everything out, get it all in there. And then it looks like that. So get it in there. Try to blend it out as close to your brow as possible, you know, just so it doesn't look like a line under your brow either. And then what I do is I grab a dry sponge and I put a little bit of setting powder on my lid. I'll show you what setting powder I use in a sec. Steps, there's steps to this, okay? So now, every look that I do that has eyeshadow, which I don't wear eyeshadow a lot, but every single one when I do, starts with a light brown color, okay? So I get a floofy brush, floofy, this one already has freaking color on it, so whatever. And I get a light brown color and I kind of just go around, kind of blend in around here. It's not even that serious, like I'm not even going crazy. Like it's just so it doesn't look white around there. Right, here we go. And now, I get a darker color, maybe like a one shade darker and go right under that. And kind of just put that there. So these are the colors I'm using right now. This is my lighter color and then this is my darker color. So this line is a little, little darker here, right? And this is the Morphe Browns, like neutral palette basically. So I just do a little bit around there and I get that other brush, the lighter brush, and I kind of blend the two out. This is extremely quick makeup, extremely quick. Then I go one shade darker. You can either go darker, you can go lighter. I like to go darker because I'm trying to, it's like a nighttime vibe, right? So I'm gonna go with a darker brown, which is like here. And I'm gonna go right on top of my lid, right here. And just pat it. All right, so now you have like a dark brown right on top of your lid. Pat that out, pat that out, pat that out, pat that out. And then I blend it out. How I blend? I blend in circles, and then I blend across. I blend in circles, and then I blend across. So I blend across, circles, across, circles. Smooth as possible, you know what I'm saying? And if I want to do like a darker waterline, I will. We can, because it's a nighttime thing. So we get just like an almost black color. I'm gonna put it right on our lid, just across like that. Almost black, not black though. I don't like black on my lid, because I feel like it makes me look, my eyes look really small. So now that that's done, if we want to finish our eye, we can, and I think I will. I'm going to finish my eye. I'm going to, first of all, get this glue off my eye back. So if we want to finish our eye, we're going to get a mascara. I use Laura Mercer's mascara, and I double-side it. You know what I'm saying? Get all as much as I can. We're going to put lashes on anyway. So, mascara's on. I know. We look crazy. We don't look cute. But I'm going to go ahead and put lashes on. Now. Listen, let me say something. I was a makeup artist for a really, really long time in my younger years. And the only glue that worked for me personally now, I wouldn't use this on anyone because you have to ask permission first, but this shit right here, this hair glue, I know, it's a little ghetto, but it's the only thing that holds my lashes that doesn't pull my lashes out either. You know what I'm saying? Like it dries fast and it doesn't pull my lashes out. I mean, obviously you have to use like oil and stuff or like a makeup remover wipe, but it comes right off. So this is what I use. However, I do let people know if I'm doing their makeup. I do have like the duo freaking lash glue too, if they want to, if they're more comfortable with that or if they want to trust me on this. Cool. Now we gotta do lashes. Now we gotta do lashes. We gotta choose them. Let's choose some lashes then. I absolutely we love Ardell's wispy lashes. These are all different types of wispies though. So let's choose a more like voluminous. Let's do voluminous wispies, but also very subtle. Let's do it, shall we? All right, so what I do with my lashes is this. See how long they need to be? You see how like all that needs to get cut off? I like to start my lashes midway too. Like I don't like putting it I don't like putting my lashes all the way in here because then they get irritated. So you don't do that. So I'm gonna cut off a big chunk of the end of this lash and leave it for if I wanna double it up or whatever. But I'm gonna put my glue on, which it fell. Put a nice little thin, thin, thin strip on there. 
because trust me, you don't need a lot of this. You don't, like it is good. And then what I do, actually that's a little too much. I'll take some off, okay. What I do is I start at the very end because I know where I want my stuff to end. I start at the end, the corner, and then bring it in. I actually made these too long. So they come in a little bit too much, but as long as they're not at the corner of my eye, I ain't bugging because it would really mess me up if they were. Duke -duke. And then I press all around to make sure it's good. And I'll press with my finger sometimes too. One lash, done. Okay, cool. All right, now that that's done, I get my little Fenty Stick Concealer. This is the color Honey. And I do just under my eyes real quick, just because I don't want to look tired. So I do two layers of this, not now. I do one now and I pat it out. And then I use the Too Faced, this color is porcelain, but it's kind of like even tan. Too Faced, this is a liquid concealer. So I just dab a little bit here. It's a little light, but that's okay for right now. And then I tap, bat these out, you know what I'm saying? To blend them both in to kind of give me that little white corner. Now, if you are a darker shade than me, which a lot of people are, cause I'm freaking light, I guess. But I have some really good colors for you. I love Espresso from Fenty. And Fenty has a really good, um, the color is 390. This is really nice too. And then Too Faced, I love Cocoa. Oh, so good. It's so pretty. Look how freaking pretty this color is. Like it gives like a, a yellow orange tone, but also it's just like this nice creamy chocolate brown. Why do I have these colors? Cause I like to, you know, do all that. And I, like I said, I have every color in the book because I was a makeup artist for so many years. I gave a lot away. I donated a lot, you know, whatever. Then once I do that, I use my foundation, which is the Lancome situation. And the number is 435BISW. I don't know what that means, but basically two little squirts for me is enough. I don't like to overdo it because I don't want to feel like I'm caked on. And what I do is I just kind of like get my concealer brush and kind of just spread this all over like my neck area, my nose, my forehead, everywhere that I can possibly put it at this point so that everything is matching, right? Very good, very good. Yep, and then, again, this is very important. The fact that it's still kind of cold, wet, and soft, you need to, um, you know, you don't want it to be cold, but you know, hey, um, it will be because it's wet. And then we just blend all this down because my body is one color, like my body is one color, and then my face is white as shit. So like, I wanna be closer to this color. I'm, I need it to look like I got melanin, bitch, because I'm honestly like, I was supposed to be black. I wanted to be, and then God was like, mm, no, I'm gonna give you, mm, I don't know, whatever. Point is, I was supposed to have more melon than that, and then haters, freaking haters. But you know, to all y'all out there that wanna share some melanin with me, please do, because I'm out here just trying to survive. What, you see this shit? Mm -hmm. I'm trying my best. But I am, look, it's not like, it's just my face. Whatever. Don't kill me, y'all. Now, so what I'm doing is I'm going over that concealer and blending it all in just because I'm trying to give it a layer of coverage. I'm not trying to be like too concealer-y right now. Concealer-y, like that's a freaking word. So we do that, blend, blend, blend. I blend it into my wig too because, you know, that's that's an issue. Gotta be make sure I have freckles, y'all. I don't know if you've ever seen my freckles, but. My sister definitely gave me more freckles with the tattoo machine, like made mine darker, and then she also went over and gave me more. But I've always had, like, you know, light freckles. I love them. Now that we blended that out, again, I'm gonna go in with a layer of this honey one more time, because I like for my under eye to stand out. And I know that I should kind of just leave it like that, but I really, really just build in with another layer of this too. Just a little bit. You don't have to do this. This light, light color in comparison to your skin, whatever that tone may be, you don't have to do it, but I do. I like doing it because I know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a powder that I use that kind of like tones it down. They have a cocoa color as well in this powder, but let me blend all this concealer out. Right, right. I always start with everything else and then I do the under eyes last. Do, 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 under eye situation. Bring that down, bring it around. Try to blend it as much as possible so it looks like that. I like getting into my eye corners too. So this is how we're looking. Now, it is a little light. I know, I like that. 
but we're going to blend it out just fine. Okay, let me do a little bit more concealer on my nose. Okay, so there's a little boop, boop. And blend this out. Up. Sometimes I use the back of my sponge just in case it's like too, too light, then I'll blend it out. Now, after this, after we're here, we use our Espresso Dark from Fenty. It looks like this. And I just, you can do this with your fingers, you can do this with a brush, a concealer brush if you're more comfortable, but I literally just go boop, boop, under the nose because I don't like how long my nose is. I want to look like who from Whoville, yay. And then I use my finger to kind of just blend out a little bit so it's like not too much. A little blend it out just a little bit, blend it out a little bit, go around, make it look like a little ball, just like that. My nose, right? Whoville. We're thinking who. We're thinking who. Whoville. And then what I do is I get myself another little blending brush and I blend it even more into like my skin so that it looks more natural. I blend it all, blend it all. And there you have it. This is what I like it to look like afterwards. That being said, I'm also going to do under here because, you know, it gives the illusion that there is no double chin when I like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna blend that out. I use my bronzer brush to kind of do that. And I just make sure it's really, really blended. Now that it's blended out, I'm gonna smooth out all of these little spots real quick before I put a setting powder on them. I just wanna make sure everything's like good. Okay, so hydrating face mist. Okay, this is one from Mana Kadar Skincare and it is called Hydration Happy and this is what it looks like. I do a quick, this is I learned on TikTok. Okay, so I do a quick spritz. I want my face to feel and look wet. Like, do you see this? It looks wet. And then I get my Ben Eye Banana Luxury Setting Powder. This is the best, okay? And I kind of just pour it out a little bit. I get my brush and I put a good amount on there and I bake. This is called baking, people. I don't bake a lot. I try to bake a lot under my eyes and then I bake around my nose, but I don't, I don't overdo bake. Like I feel like I do a medium amount of bake. It's not a light bake. It's not a heavy bake, it's medium. And I put it around my creases, where I crease a lot, under here, on my forehead. And then I kind of just, you know, bake, 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 everywhere. I feel like that's a good bake. Maybe a little bit on my eyebrows if they're shiny, because you know, we just use gel. So I put a little bit on my eyebrows because the gel tends to be a little shiny. I put a little bit around my wig line because it tends to be shiny, and I don't want that to be shiny. Then after we have baked, I don't let it sit for a very long time because I don't want to feel dry. So I just blend it out with a regular flat kind of brush like this. All right, once we have done that, do you see how that helped me even out a little bit? Like it doesn't look too light under my eyes. So I like that. I like it here. I'm good here. Now we're going to get our brush and we're going to get our Too Faced Born This Way in color chai and this is what that looks like and we're going to go under a little bit just to like give it a little powder and we're gonna go and i like going right on my cheekbone i know that your blush is supposed to go there but me being 33 this makes me look a little younger it makes me look like my cheeks are lifted because we put the blush a little higher as well so we're gonna go just like that, blend that out. We're gonna do a little bit of rounds here. I don't do too much on my forehead, but I do try to like, you know, a little bit. Then we get that same flat brush and blend it up. That'll make it smooth. So that's how we're looking. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now my favorite part is our blush. This is the color Natural Beauty from Tarte. Looks like this. I get my blush brush. It is dirty, obviously, it still has fucking blush on it. And I go right above there. I love blush, love blush. Ooh, so cute. I also like doing the Whoville nose. Super cute like that. And on the other side, and I kind of just give my, my forehead a little, mm -mm -mm. there. We're looking freaking holiday-ish already. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, now that that's done, we get our thin little brush. This, this guy right here, very soft little thing. 
And I get my, as you can tell, I've used this way too freaking much. Um, this is my highlighter, it's from Stellar, and it is the Supernova Highlight. So it comes in three different shades. I use the lightest shade to do my nose, like that, like that Whoville nose. Love me a little Whoville nose. Thing is, I like to cosplay and anime a lot, so I love these little cartoon noses. I know, it's not for everybody, but you know, hey. And then I blend it out a little bit. And then on my cheeks, I get a little floofy brush here and I do the lighter, the middle color. And just go right above where my blush is. On top of the blush, but also like on the blush almost. And then I do my forehead and then I do under. Blush. We looking good. We looking good. Wait, wait until you see this lipstick that I'm about to do. Mm, hold on. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. I always start with a chapstick. It doesn't matter what chapstick, just chapstick. Any chapstick right in the inside of your lip. Right there, not on the edges, only on the inside of your lip. Doesn't matter which one, I change it all the time, depending on what I'm finding first. So we have two different MAC colors. We have MAC Kiss Me Quick, and then we have MAC Burgundy. I've been using MAC Burgundy since I was like 16. Um, and then we have a Christian Dior color Rouge Dior 999 matte. So this is the trick, okay? This is the trick. We're gonna go here, use our burgundy, and do our corner and our lip liner just around. Up. The trick for smaller lips, because I, I have fuller lips. Not as full as I want them to be, but they're fuller. You go right above where your actual lip line is. Right above it. Just like that. Right above it. Now I like to add a little in here. And then I mix that lip liner with our Kiss Me Quick and kind of just mix them both in there. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We mix them both, but that's not all. Let's get our Dior out. Kristen New York is something fancy. Look, it still says Dior on there. I haven't used it out yet. And then go right over that. And mix them all out. No worry, you don't get these edges. Now, if you still have like these little, little parts that are not blended in, that is fine. Because we're gonna get a little brush. We're gonna get a little brush like this. And we're gonna blend it out. And that is our red lip. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, I love me a red lip. Mm, I need to wear red more. This is beautiful. This is just, ugh, this is gorgeous. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. All right, now we're gonna just do our hair. Boom, holiday. Holiday hair. More volume, the better on this side. Okay, I like that. I like that, I like the volume. It's not for everybody. If you want to see me do this hairstyle, this look on this wolf cut wig, let me know in the comments, I will do them. And happy new year, guys. Happy freaking new year. I 